Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike from Pizza Master. We're chilling out at the beach today. And in a couple of hours, we're going to be back home making a delicious white pizza. We brought the cheese and mozzarella in a wood-fired oven. So, check it out. Hey everybody, welcome back. Here's a quick view of us prepping the oven for the delicious pizza we'll be making shortly. Okay, with the egg in the bowl, empty out your container of ricotta cheese and make sure not to waste any of that cheese, okay? We don't ever waste ricotta cheese. Now, next, we drizzle in some olive oil, not too much, just a little bit, just for the flavor of it. You don't want to overdo it. Next, we shake in some garlic powder about a half a teaspoon. We chose to use regular garlic powder for this pizza. Then throw in your parsley and oregano mix. A dash of salt. Same thing. Too much salt is never good. And a dash of black pepper. And that's it. Mix that stuff all together nice. Make sure you mix the egg in really good. And everything is a nice even texture. Now it's time to build this white pie. First we're going to open up this dough. Normally I like to let it sit out for a while, but we were kind of running out of time today, so this dough is not very loose, so it's going to take a little work. Put down a little flour in case you need to make it spin a little easier and start to open it up and, you know, try to stretch it open. Don't overwork the middle of the dough. Never overwork the middle. Now on this pie, I decided to make a nice crust. So we use the edge of our hand and the side of our fingers and we basically just press it around nice and evenly and you get a really nice looking crust and when it cooks it's going to puff up nice there so it'll be a nice little, little extra, extra bready section of the crust. Alright, put down some cornmeal on your wooden peel. Okay, make sure you use plenty of cornmeal because you're going to be putting with both the cheese, it's going to get heavy. Uh, and you don't want it to stick. When you go to put it in the oven, you want it to slide right off. That cornmeal is almost like ball bearings. Now here we are opening up the dough. I said it's, it's you know not very soft so it's going to take a little work to, to open this thing up properly give it a few tosses just to see how, what the shape looks like okay should be just about good now once you got it down on the peel you want to try to you know get it back get it into its shape the shape that it's going to be try to take out any wrinkles you don't have to get too crazy once you get some uh ricotta cheese on there you can use that weight to stretch the wrinkles out afterwards and we just use a wooden spoon try to bring it right around to the crust Okay, it's almost like icing a cake. All right, try to get it right to the edge. Edge it across if you can. Just makes it look nice. 
try to keep it even. Okay, now we add the fresh mozzarella and just place it evenly around the pie. On this pie, we're not going to be putting a lot of mozzarella. We don't want to overdo it, but you can really go, some people like to go very heavy with the mozzarella on a white pie. Um, I like that also, but we're just going to kind of keep this one light tonight. As you saw, we were out at the beach all day, so we don't want to overdo it with uh, 10 tons of cheese tonight. There we go. All right, now at this point, we should have put some uh, Parmesan cheese on the pie, but we're gonna end up doing that and realizing that and adding it as it's you know after it's in the oven for a couple of minutes but now is normally when you would put it on okay let's put this baby in the oven folks this oven is heated perfectly slides right off that cornmeal gotta have it half the battle is getting the pizza in the oven folks so do not you know do not forget to use your cornmeal So glad we remembered. Adds just a, a a nice flavor. Really, every pizza should always have some Parmesan cheese on it. Looking really good. Let's give it a spin. The crust is looking as close to perfect as possible. The way we have these bricks set in there really, really helps to uh, golden brown that crust up. Uh, they're not burning at all. Okay, I believe this baby is done. We're gonna put it up in the top of the oven just to Give a little crispiness to the top of the cheese. This thing came out really, really great. Excellent pie. Perfect cook. Voila. So, cut it down the middle. Split it into four. Listen to the way that crust pops. You can just hear how, how perfect this crust came. So glad we decided to make this tonight.